There's a perfect storm headed straight for us. A storm centered on health and disease in America. It's fueled by three converging trends. The increasingly poor health of most Americans, the rapidly aging population, and the unrelenting growth of health care costs. Being obese is defined as having a body mass index of 30 or more, based on height and weight, as shown by the table. In the late 1970s, around 15% of American adults were obese. In the ensuing 25 years, that percentage doubled. Add in the people who are overweight without quite being obese, and in today's America, only one out of three adults maintains a healthy weight. Likewise, diabetes has been skyrocketing. One of the most troubling statistics is that diabetes among Americans in their 30s increased 70%, almost twofold, in less than 10 years, from 1990 to 1998. Both obesity and diabetes act as signal problems, opening the door to many other diseases and ailments, including certain types of cancer, heart disease, arthritis, and blindness, among others. Based on the dramatic rise in obesity alone, researchers recently wrote in the New England Journal of Medicine, the steady rise in life expectancy observed in the modern era may soon come to an end, and the youth of today may, on average, live less healthy and possibly even shorter lives than their parents. In 1900, the percentage of the population aged 65 and older was a scant 4%. In 1950, that figure grew to 8%. By 2000, 12.4% of us were 65 years of age or older, and by 2030, it is projected that 20%, or one out of five U.S. individuals, will be at least 65 years old. This has enormous financial implications because older citizens consume more health care. In 2000, people aged 65 and older were only 12.4% of the population, but they accounted for over 36% of personal health care expenditures. This is compounded by the simultaneously shrinking proportion of adult workers. In 1960, adult workers in our economy aged 20 to 64 outnumbered the elderly by a ratio of 5.7 to 1. In 2030, that ratio will shrink to 2.7 workers for every elderly person. Almost one out of every six dollars spent in this country goes towards health care, a figure that has risen dramatically in recent decades. In the past 40 years, health care costs as a percentage of our gross domestic product have increased 300 percent. The United States spends far more per capita on health care than any other country in the world, and the costs continue to outpace inflation. These exploding health care expenses have come to plague all sectors of our society, including small business, big business, local, state, and federal governments. The functionality of the country's automakers, airlines, supermarkets, and education systems is being increasingly hampered with each passing year. It's a perfect storm a storm on the immediate horizon that will come to be one of the defining issues of the next 50 years. How will we face the challenge? What information do we have, and what information do we still need? What is the solution? <laughs>